so glad you stopped by. You know, I was going to call you because I have some fun news to share. I've joined Stampin' Up. I don't know if you know, but Close to My Heart closed their doors and Stampin' Up invited all of us makers to join their team. And I am so excited. But I had always wondered, could I create scrapbook pages, which you know I love to do, with the Stampin' Up products? Now they're making scrapbook kits along with their beautiful suites. Oh my gosh, the potential is incredible. So I want to take a few minutes and share with you what I'm going to be doing on my channel. So come on. I am so glad you stopped by. It's the perfect time. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the time we're going to be spending together on YouTube. And I hope that after watching this video, you're going to be excited about what's going to be coming up in future videos on my channel. The first thing I wanted to do is just to revisit what my style is with a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. For those of you that are new to my channel and those that have been a while, around a while, but I have not been back in a while. So let me just go through these quickly and kind of explain my style. Um, <clears throat> I usually like to have a flip up or a tip in and I love to tell the story. I think that when we have photos, it's a wonderful way to mem memory keep, but when we can tell the story, what we were thinking, what we were feeling, and we can paint the picture with words, oh my gosh, what a gift that is to the art of storytelling. And here we go, this is my husband and I when we went on a trip together, and I did a flip up, I did a journal card, you flip it up and you have a photo up here, a photo, and then the journaling. So I love that technique. And then on this one right here, I had gone to visit my mom in Maine, and I love how this looks like a piece of driftwood, and it has the story behind the large five by seven photo. So you can see one of the uh, common themes is that there is something hidden. It's very interactive. And this actually has the tab on it says, please, as in, please open it up and read it. Uh, all of these, except for the first one, which I'll revisit again, were um, workshop kits from Close to My Heart. And I am so excited that Stampin' Up! is going to start doing scrapbook kits. Isn't that exciting? Now here I did the journaling on the outside, the front of the page, and then I had a tab that pulled up more photos and honestly I'm not sure if there's something on the back there is so it's a double photo I love it when there are things to pull up and open this one's kind of neat because <clears throat> this was taking oh a very long time ago and that is a picture of me look at my short hair and there's no gray hair I don't even know how old I was oh, 2008 oh my gosh yes so this is the story this is story and that's my mom and dad yeah, this one has to be one of my absolute favorites. And in my upcoming video, I'm going to be using this same scrapbook kit from Close to My Heart called Cape Cod. But look what I did here on the side. I have a photo that pulls out, and that's my daughter-in-law. And then here you have my son. And then I put the journaling on the front. I didn't go on this trip with them, but I love the photos. So I just talked about when they went and what they did. And then here, this is a hilarious story, and I'm going to turn this into a storybook page. This is about the bear. And what I did is I put it up here. So it was a very long story. So you can see how it all pulls up from the top. And that's mom. She got caught but you'll hear that story in another uh, storybook video. And then here is a tab. You can see how I like to have the tab on the side of the journaling to pull it out. So there's a lot of interactive elements on the scrapbook pages. And I wanted to revisit, remember my initial question about scrapbooking with Stampin' Up! Suites and their scrapbooking kits? Absolutely. All right, so let's move on to what I want to do next. And it is Stories I Love, Stories by Stacy, And it's really the premise. This was a, a, uh, a book that 
came out with Close to My Heart. And it's all about the art of telling the story and how to tell the story. See, let's start a story, get started. What are you sensing? What are you thinking? How would you describe what's going on around you? What feelings is it eliciting? All these neat tips that I wanna start sharing in my storybook series. And it's going to be with eight and a half by 11 album page and it's all going to start with a card that I've created with Stampin' Up! So I will create a card with the suite or the workshop and then based on the card I'm going to create an eight and a half by eleven journal a storybook and you know think of the times when you have a real funny story to tell but you don't have a lot of photos or you have a story to tell and maybe you don't even have a photo of the person involved so this is a hilarious story and I'm excited to share with you that video is coming up very soon and then lastly when um, many years ago when I started my Instagram channel it was all about planning because I loved the art of organizing my day with a planner. And then I noticed as the years progressed that my planners were turning into more of a photo journal. And that's what got me into scrapbooking, to be honest. But I still do this because I love it. This is like a weekly photo journal. So on the left side, you have what happened during the month. And then on the right side, it just recaps the weeks. And this is a Laurel Denise project planner. And then this is the Laurel Denise horizontal planner. You could see you know, this is regular planning right here, but I have had it, um, it became, and this is how I transfer, transformed myself into a scrapbooker, was I found out I was telling the story and putting photos on everything, which is almost hilarious when you think about it. So that is where this came from. So I will be showing these on my channel, my eight and a half by 11 storybook series and my scrapbooking pages. So I hope that you are as excited as I am. And if you are, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the channel, especially, can I have some support for that 13 second intro that preceded this? Uh, a lot of work went into that, and I hope you enjoyed the fun I had with it. And also, share with me what you're most excited about seeing. Is it the 12 by 12 scrapbook? Is it how I'm using my planners as storytelling journals? And is it the 8.5 by 11 storybook series? That's always going to start with a card. All right, my friends, until we meet again in YouTube land, God bless. Have an incredible day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.